What up, what up, what up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Ruxora, and here we do all things magic and magic spell slingers. I'm so, so excited today because we are taking a look at one of my favorite decks that I kind of uh, pioneered back in the day uh, when I played uh, Standard, and it is Gear Hulk Reanimator. Yes, you heard me right, Gear Hulk Reanimator. Uh, before we get into that, explaining what the heck do I mean by Gear Hulk Reanimator, if you could like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff really helps me out and lets me know what kind of content you guys enjoy. Um, I've been really enjoying uh, messing around with the arena as we're doing today. Um, sorry, messing around on arena and and, and whatnot, and uh, uh, you know, and the cubing and you know the arena cube and all you know all the the, the you know the fun events. I usually don't check out because they happen so uh, so fast, but um, they're always pretty fun <clears throat> from what I hear. <clears throat> um, but yeah, anyways, uh, Gear Hulk Reanimator. So this was a deck that I, you know, I, I don't want to say I created the idea for it, but I uh, definitely fiddled with um, when it was uh, playable in standard. So kind of at the Kaladesh, Shadows of Vernistrad kind of age. And the moment that these cards came onto Arena, I was super excited to play with it again. Obviously, it's it's not as good uh, in in some of the more eternal formats, and honestly, it wasn't even that good when it was actually legal and standard. But I had a lot of fun with it. Um, so we're playing it here today again. I'm not presenting this as like uh, you know, oh my gosh, this is gonna break the format. Uh, it's just uh, uh, kind of me reminiscing, you know, a little boom magic boomer here reminiscing about uh, magic boomer days. Though know, this isn't that long ago, <laughs> but. Anyways, I digress. Uh, Gear Hulk Reanimator. What the heck do I mean by that? Well, obviously, you should be familiar with the term Reanimator, right? When you where you bin a large creature uh, and then uh, use some sort of effect to put it directly from the graveyard onto the battlefield, and that's exactly what we're doing here. Uh, the goal of this deck is to reanimate Combustible Gear Hulk. Uh, so four red red for a six six artifact creature construct with first strike, and when it enters the battlefield, your opponent can have has two options. They can have you draw three cards. In which case you've played a six mana six six for a strike that drew three, that also has an ancestral uh, ancestral recall attached to it. I would argue that's pretty good. Um, or you can uh, um, mill three cards. Your opponent can have you mill three cards, and they're going to take damage equal to the tone of mana, mana value of the three cards that you just milled to the graveyard. Now you might not think that's a lot, but in this deck, we actually have a pretty high uh, CMC. Um, besides the uh, the two mana cards here, uh, most of our deck is three plus mana. Um, so uh, yeah, pretty pretty good um, when you can just nug your opponent for you know five, six, seven, sometimes upwards of uh, ten damage uh, on top of getting a six six first strike. It's gonna put a lot of pressure on your opponent. <clears throat> So how do we do this? Well, the main way is Refurbish. So Combustible Gear Hulk and Refurbish being printed in the same set. So Refurbish saying uh, three and a white return target artifact from your graveyard to the battlefield. Uh, so sorcery speed, but yeah, basically it just says shove, you know, slam your Gear Hulk onto the battlefield. Boom. And, uh, you know, obviously only works for artifacts. Doesn't work for any other random creatures. So obviously you can't just like pay for mana and expect Ulabog the Ceaseless Hunger or whatnot. <clears throat> um, the other way that you can do this is with Blood for Bones, which as an additional cost, you have to sacrifice a creature, but you return a creature, any creature, right, from the graveyard to the battlefield, and then get another card from the graveyard to your hand. So kind of a slow, slower, you know, reanimation effect, but gives you a little bit of extra value. And uh, this we can use by uh, using kind of another popular combination uh, during uh, Shadows Over Innistrad uh, time, and that is the combination of Haunted Dead with Prized Amalgam. So with Haunted Dead in the graveyard, and with any number of prize amalgams either in your hand or also in your graveyard, you can uh, activate Haunted Dead to discard, sorry, pay, pay one in a black, discard two cards, and return Haunted Dead from your graveyard to the battlefield tapped. So with this, uh, you can either discard any of the Haunted Deads in your hand, or if they're already in your graveyard, you discard two other cards, right? Could be other gear hulks, could just be two lands, could be anything, right? Uh, but that Haunted Dead will come onto the battlefield uh, and then we'll also bring with it a 1-1 Spirit, as well as a uh, any of your prized amalgams, because it will see that Haunted Dead has entered the battlefield from the graveyard. So this can be done as early as turn 3, right? As long as you have some way to get Haunted Dead uh, into the graveyard, uh, right? The main ways for this are the Cathartic Reunion and Thrilling Discovery. 
Um, right, so you do that, and uh, then on the next turn, you can activate this, and this can be done at instant speed to avoid any kind of sorcery speed uh, removal, um, or it can be done on your turn uh, to just get to the 1-1 uh, the one -one blocker, uh, or to right, to, to use with, in combination with your refurbish. So obviously not much of a discount for the Gear Hulk, but landing a combustible Gear Hulk on turn 4 when your opponent doesn't have much going on uh, will often just uh, win you games. But when that doesn't just win you game, we have... Uh, sorry, when that doesn't just win you the game, we have two other ways um, to reanimate and get some good value. Uh, number one being Noxious Gear Hulk, uh, the black one. So ETBs and uh, destroys another creature and gains its life equal to its toughness. So if our opponent has a large creature that we can't deal with, slam this onto the field, kill it, gain a bunch of life points back, and uh, then just from there, you know, do go back to the normal game plan of trying to get Combustible Gear Hulk. Uh, the Menace Body is kind of nice. Again, if you, you eliminate a creature and then they have not a lot of creatures to block with, uh, it's pretty good. Uh, also, it means they would probably have to double block it. You trade for two things, and then you could obviously, like, refurbish or Blood for Bones it back onto the field. And then kind of, uh, you know, rounding things out, we have a little bit of, of interaction here. So, as you see here, the, the three copies of Sweltering Sun um, uh, contemplated Anger of the Gods, but again, don't really want to exile our uh, Rise of Algums and Haunted Dead, so sticking with Sweltering Suns, this is obviously what I used uh, in uh, the actual standard set as well, all these being from, from the same set, or sorry, from the similar block. Um, but then also we have Cataclysmic Gear Hulk, the White Gear Hulk. Doesn't see as much play uh, as as nearly nearly as much play as any of the others. But uh, yeah, uh, three uh, white white for a four five vigilance, and when it enters the battlefield, uh, you basically get to balance out uh, the number of uh, artifact creatures, and enchantments, and planeswalkers from non land permanents. Uh, right, so you you choose uh, one of each, and your opponent chooses one of each and uh, then the rest gets sacrificed. So your opponent has 10 creatures uh, and a bunch of lands. You play this, they are forced down to one creature. Obviously they get to choose, but again, you, you work with what you can get. And uh, this is nice because again, you can play it out for five mana, but you can also uh, refurbish it out. So if they kill this, right, you know, and then make a bunch, uh, another huge board, you can always bring it back. Uh, the other nice thing about this is that uh, with this uh, card being an artifact and a creature, uh, we'll be able to uh, keep two creatures as long as we choose uh, this as our artifact and any of our other creatures as a uh, creature. So often our opponent will end up with one creature and we'll end up with two, which is really nice when you're trying to not die. Um, yeah. I'm um, talking about upgrades, right? So obviously, like, Blood for Bones is a nice upgrade, but another really nice inclusion here is Thrilling Discovery. Originally, I think this deck just had Cathartic Reunion and Tormenting Voice, which uh, is not as good. Uh, Thrilling Discovery getting to uh, basically be another version of Cathartic Reunion, but gaining you two life is very, very strong, especially when we're not doing a lot early. Again, this deck does tend to um, falter to some of the more aggressive decks if you don't draw the Sweltering Suns or if you don't uh, draw into the Haunted dead prize to malcolm uh combination to to give yourself some chump blockers um so yeah uh that's that's the deck those are the strengths weaknesses i uh, yeah, i played it at a couple of events and uh it, you know it, it it did fine uh it was kind of like my main deck for a little bit until i pivoted to uh something else um so uh yeah we're gonna play it in uh we're sorry i should have said we're playing it in explorer here um you know it's also legal in historic but uh, I wanted to see how this does in a, in a you know, kind of a lower power format uh, as opposed to historic. Uh, especially since now we have uh, mana confluence as well. This is not something that I got to play with uh, when this deck was around. The mana base is probably not perfect. Uh, also, Savai Triome also being like another tri land. Uh, mana can be kind of tough, right? Because you want to play uh, a red card on turn one. Uh, but also have black mana on turn two, and then have like enough like colored mana to like refurbish, and then hard cast your gear hulks if you if you're on six mana and stuff like that. So uh, it can sometimes be a little bit awkward. Is this mana perfect? No. Is this deck amazing? Again, no. Uh, but I think it's gonna be really fun, and uh, we are gonna play it in the rank ladder, so we'll see how how it holds up. All right, uh, here for game one, and this is not it. Uh, two lanes, not great. All right, this is better. Uh, we'll put back probably this mana confluence. Uh, we really only need it when uh, we're we're struggling to find the right colors. All right. Oh. 
Oh boy. Alright, so we got burn here. Oh boy, it's it's this. Oh boy, that's not good. The steel? Godless Shrine? Sure. Alright, we'll play our own Godless Shrine. Do the discovery. Yeah, I think we'll discard our Gear Hulk and then a land. Alright, so this is actually okay because we have now turn 4 refurbish to get back Cataclysmic. So if we can survive. Prize the Balgum. Oh boy. Hilarious. You gonna play the Prize the Balgum? So yeah, the, game, the name of the game is Survive. Yeah, so just play the Amalgam. Alright, so we're going to Discovery. We'll discard this Mana Confluence and the Haunted Dead. We'll play a Tap Land. Oh, so we actually have a Sweltering Suns also now. It's kind of interesting. I don't think they're casting that. Oh boy. Are we dead? Yeah. Wow, we're at two. And it's rough now because... Um, yeah, even if we refurbish, they get to keep the Ember Cleave. Dang. They didn't have exactly Ember Cleave. I think we could have survived. So obviously, I get to pick uh, artifact or creature here, but they get to keep uh, two things between. Sorry, uh, one of their creatures, but then. Um, oh, so I guess it's okay. Let's see. I mean, yeah. Also, they can just like shock me, and then I. Okay, that also just kills me. All right. Here for game two, and you know, this hand's not great, but it's not terrible. Um, we have a uh, thrilling discovery to ditch this haunted dead and hopefully find a black source. If we find a black source, I think we'll be just fine. Thoughtseize is A okay, because again, we have extra triple protection here. Love that we have eight copies of uh, Cathartic Reunion, basically. Um, so, yeah. Don't really care what our opponent does here. Uh, taking the Hunted Dead here would kind of be strange. Um, yeah, probably just take the Thrilling Discovery, as that's the best effect. I don't really get why they did that, but okay. Okay, so now they see the refurbish. They kind of maybe know what's up. Yeah, so they take the refurbish. We'll play our thrilling discovery. Discard the cathartic reunions and draw some cards. <laughs> so again, it's okay drawing these. Uh, Since, uh, since we don't really care about our hand. Uh, then we'll just play this Sacred Foundry Tapped. Uh, so next turn we can play Haunted Ridge. I guess they're gonna Thought Seize us and take... Actually, they take, like, a Noxious Gear Hulk. That would be hilarious. We're probably just gonna take the Blood for Bones, now that I think about it. Yeah. If they take this Noxious Gear Hulk, that would be insane. Yeah, it's absolutely the right way to go. Alright, so we'll just play this Haunted Ridge uh, and pass the turn. 
Uh, the other note here is that we have to put a stop here so that uh, they put, this is at the beginning of the next end step. So we want to make sure that we stop before they pass the turn. You got it. That's hilarious if they make me discard a card. Let's make this you got it. I will discard this Noxious Gear Hulk. Yeah, thought sees me? Sure. I'm gonna discard my whole hand, because it doesn't matter. Uh, and I guess now I can just, uh... I think I'm just, I'm just agonizing them for no reason. Like, I'm making them choose when they don't realize that I'm just gonna discard it either way. Like, they really shouldn't care. Please, just pick a card. Oh my goodness, and I get to do this as well? Wait a sec, that's, I, I, okay, hold on, so let's attack first. Attack here, attack here, and then we get the gear hook. We get the blood for bones, sack this, uh, and get back a combustible gear hook, and then return noxious gear hook to our hand. I guess it doesn't, uh, probably should have, eh, it doesn't matter. So if they mill here and we just like flip over a couple of card of like decently valued cards, they could just die. All right, that's fine. <laughs> that, that was the more likely scenario of uh... All right, so there, there's the downside, right, of of uh, of that, but uh, that's okay. Oh my god, hilarious. Uh, I mean, you can now just like hit them. If they don't block, they're forced to have us draw three with Gear Hulk. And again, I don't really care about, like, they don't really have anything that we can uh, not make use of here. So you can see how Combustible Gear Hulk fuels with uh, Haunted Den and the Price and Algum package, because often your opponent is just going to have you draw three cards. Uh, and it's going to draw you into more prize and algums, more haunted deads, and uh, things to reanimate. <clears throat> cool. All right. Game three. Uh, after that exhilarating game one. All right, sorry, game game two. Uh, and our hand is pretty good here. We've got uh, Gear Hulk and a uh, Cathartic Reunion. Oh, sorry, any and some discard effects. Sort of black, black green deck. Probably gonna thought seize us, but we have. Uh... Oh, nope, never mind. Oh, this is. Oh no. This is the real reanimator deck of the format. Uh, hopefully, we do not see Parhelion. All right, we see Parhelion. Uh, we're kind of screwed because this is really the only play that we can make. Cool. Uh, we're pretty dead. I don't see how we win this game because they're going to play uh, uh, whatever his name is. Um, yep, Priest Fang and they're going to win the game. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, they have it like... <laughs> I don't think this 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 combo should be around. Uh, I think it's kind of obnoxious. I guess it's a it's a three mana you know, turn two turn three combo, but it's very very annoying <laughs> when it just works. All right, uh, this hand's not great. <laughs> That's a clear mulligan. All right, this hand's fine. Uh, as long as we can uh, get this thrill off, we should be able to fix our hand. Uh, I'll put back this. Cataclysmic Gear Hulk. I think I'm gonna want the Noxious over for all that, and then uh, obviously want the Haunted Dead around. All right. Ooh, that's pretty good. All right, don't spell pierce me. Sweet. 
Uh, sorry, we're not going to discard the prized amalgam. Because uh, we want to get this geared hulk in the graveyard. Draw a bunch of lands, that's okay. Is this like some creativity deck, I would imagine? Uh, I'm just going to put this into play tapped and pass. And then they do this, sure. Yeah, this looks like uh, some kind of creativity uh, or, uh, you know, just slow blue deck, which I'm not sure how well that's going to go for us, but we'll see. It means I don't have to keep this uh, Sweltering Suns in my hand so we can discard that. Unless, of course, they play a Fable here. Rowan. Interesting. Okay, I don't know what's going on there, but uh, cool. Alright, so we're going to auto pay. Discard these. Uh, now that they're tapped out, I'm going to go ahead and do this. Ah, uh, dang, my worst nightmare of uh, discarding my lands and uh, not drawing, not drawing any lands. Um, that's okay, because we kind of want to just cast the another Thrill and, and discard this Gear Hulk anyways, so. And our opponent's not putting any pressure against us, so it's it's A-okay. Hmm. That's aggressive. Uh, are we getting Anger the Gods tier? Nope, oh, okay, just a big score, sure. Still still threatening, still scary. Because there is a possibility that we just die here. Okay, never mind. They're just killing dudes. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and now that they're ta- uh, I think I'm still gonna do this. Uh, we'll discard this Gear Hulk and this Blood for Bones. Just kidding. We're gonna do Cathartic Reunion. Hopefully we just draw a land here. Oh my god. I look pretty stupid discarding these lands, but, uh... I don't know. It's a little unfortunate. We didn't draw a single one, like... Alright, we still are able to do stuff with our mana, right? Because we, again, all, as long as we have two mana, we can use the Haunted Dead stuff. So, alright, there we go. There's, there's a... Uh, Here's our land. So we're just gonna start uh, jamming these refurbishes. See if they have a counter spell. Okay, cool. That seam is pretty great. Please mill us. Please mill us. I wanna. I wanna. I wanna have this video have uh, a moment where I kill somebody with uh, with Gear Hulk's ability. Although, with two Gear Hulks gone, all right. Uh, I was really hoping to to get him to get him good. I'm guessing that they are just gonna untap and creativity us to death. That is what I'm guessing. Yeah, and they are gonna if they got it, they they are gonna do it. That's what looks looks like what's happening here, right? Because they have triple, yeah, triple red and two mana, and uh, yeah, cool. We are we are dead. Yeah. Dang. We had a turn earlier. All right. Hand looks great. Again, we don't really care about having these in our hand because we can just discard them. Main phase up. Interesting. I don't. I don't think it really matters what we do here. I'm gonna just uh, reunion, discard haunted dead and a prize amalgam. Boom! 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 Oh, 
cool. Oh, let's go tap land pass. And again, making sure to Adelise the Cinder Wind. Interesting. That is not a card that I was expecting to see today. So here, this is freaking awesome because we get... I think I'm not going to block here, though. Uh, well, here we get the two amalgams to come back. I'm going to do some looting. I discard not both of our lands. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, and then we'll shock this in. Uh, thrill and discard amalgam and blood for bones probably like we don't really care about getting these back sure okay. uh, I think I'm gonna leave this back just in case they they pull some shenanigans or something I don't know who knows Yeah, they might kill this, but that's okay. Interesting, so they are like going heavy on, on these effects. It's a wizard, it is a wizard. Okay. Uh, if they kill my board, we might just sweltering the suns here. Like, they kill my, yeah, one of my prized amalgams, and I'll just, like, cool, like, you can even just, like, cathartic reunion first, then, uh, get a land, hit a land in Sweltering Suns. Yeah, I think I am just gonna do that, right? Like, why not? And then we can uh, attack here, sweltering suns. Uh, all right. I mean, should I reunion first? Yeah, I'm gonna reunion first. I'm gonna be a little greedy here. Hopefully, we draw a land. All right, cool. We drew a land. Um, I don't think it matters. So I was just like winning the game off of the back of Haunted Dead and Prized Amalgam, which which sometimes happens. That's okay. Uh, yeah, that's a good one. Draw a bunch of cards. Uh, I don't think it matters what we do here. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna... We have no gear to hulk in the graveyard, right? Yeah. Uh, so we'll just... Just... Honestly, don't, have, don't even want to play anything. Yeah, I might just pass. So we have two... Three... Four, wait, do we have all four? One, two... Three, four, yeah, we have, we're gonna get four prized amalgams on the way back. <laughs> so, unless they can 16 to 0 us, uh, we're gonna have three prized amalgams, as well as a Noxious Gear Hulk probably able to be come down. Um, we might. Yeah, that's fine. I'm thinking of if we want to even try to do the refurbish, we might just want to untap and. Uh, probably not. Maybe we just like discard the t the land plus gear hulk so that we can refurbish, uh, and then we can also still cataclysmic gear hulk if we somehow don't kill them. Wait. Okay, they're gonna try to move. We're gonna stop them. Uh, we're gonna discard gear hulk plus land. Yeah. Glad I glad I realized that and put a stop here.
So yeah, they, they, these guys are doing a, a bunch of triggers because they're gonna see, like, the other, like, one amalgam is gonna come in and say, hey, other amalgams, like, I came into play, and then each one is gonna see a bunch, like, you know, each one of the other ones is gonna see, so that's why that, those triggers happen that way. It's kind of weird, but, you know, the end result is four prize amalgams on the battlefield. All right. Yeah, this hand's got a lot of what we want going on. Uh, we've got a Carter Reunion, uh, a Gear Hulk, and a Refurbish. So cool. Oh, that's even better, right? So you Cathartic Reunion, uh, discard Gear Hulk and Haunted Dead. Oh, easy game. Uh, we still got a hit. I was about to say we need to hit another land, but there we go. Uh, so we'll just play this tapped and pass. Again, put another stop on our opponent's second main phase. So, some kind of... Oh, okay. I was like about to say, uh, so some kind of teamer. Gigantholist. Not sure what that means. Just adding Gigantha to the hand. Interesting. Cool. We'll discard Amalgam plus a Cathartic Reunion, I want to say. Yeah, so that we can keep this Blood for Bones. So this guy comes back. We go ahead and refurbish. So this is like uh, the, the nut draw, right? Is turn two Reunion. Turn three, uh, activate Haunted Dead, getting back some prized Amalgams. And then Compulsible Gear Hulk on turn four with refurbish so it does not get much better than this all right opponent has us to draw three cards to draw into you another amalgam and a combustible gear hulk i like having this now because that we can actually like cast this but probably aren't really doing that because again we have the reunion and the blood for bones so interesting i hate that Permanent cause and it would cause the ability you control the trigger. It triggers an additional time. Going to the battlefield. Don't. Go. Wow, that's freaking annoying. Um. Well, we're just gonna attack all. That is freaking annoying. Um. So we can just like, I guess we just like cast the amalgam. And then play a land, and then we have Haunted Dead. And then we have like these Gear Hulks that won't do anything, but they will at least uh, be around. That's freaking annoying though, that like they just have this random Elishnorn that shuts off. It also technically shuts off uh, Prize Amalgam. Oh, so just like this like weird, like, uh, just four, four or five color deck. Oh, and they get double triggers off of that. That's annoying. Okay. Nissa, sure. He ain't life off this now. Um, so yeah, we just do this. Uh, I'll discard Reunion plus Blood for Bones, right? Yeah, I don't think it really matters. Oh, they don't get the spirit off of this either. Fun. I hate that. I hate that so much. I hate that so much. Alright, here's a gear hulk that doesn't do anything. Like... <laughs> the thing is here, they're on four, so like... Uh, they have to deal with the spirit at some point, but... Yeah, man, I don't... We don't have a good answer to this, do we? Escape the wilds? Like, oh, it's just an Omnath deck. That just randomly has Elish Norn. Yeah. Fun. Wow, oh, I hate this. I mean, do we even bother sticking around? Probably not, right? Yeah. I think we're dead. Alright. 
this hand, even though it has the amalgams and stuff, it's not keepable. We don't have any kind of discard effect. This is much better. We'll keep, uh, we'll put back a reunion so that we can keep the amalgam around. There's an argument for, like, keeping this in hand to cast with the Mana Confluence, but eh. Whew, excuse me. Alright, so I have, uh, I assume, Mono Green Ramp. One of my least, also one of my least favorite decks, unless this is Elves. Nope, it's Ramp. Um... Chicken Reunion, discard, probably this, I don't think the Sweltering Sun is going to do anything. I think we just need to uh, get to our big stuff as fast as we can, which is not very fast, unfortunately. We want to look for um, Noxious Gear Hulk, right? So Noxious Gear Hulk to kill some of the uh, the bigger creatures that our opponent is going to play. Uh, it could also just be Mono Green, like, like not Mono Green Devotion, but like Mono Green. Okay, well, that, that lets me know it's Devotion. Dang, Anger might have been pretty okay. Or not Anger, uh, Sweltering Suns might have been pretty okay. Uh, whatever. So we're gonna Thrill here. We're gonna discard both of these, probably. Uh, discard a Triome, I guess. I don't know, we're just kind of finding nothing, right? Alright, so there we go. Like, now we can Thrilling Discovery get back Combustible. But not, not ideal here. Yeah, Cavalier of Thorns is annoying. The real nuts would be the Cataclysmic Gear Hulk, but I don't think we're getting there. Yeah, and Sweltering Suns here doesn't do enough, so yeah, just gonna go ahead and discard this and Blood for Bones. Do, do some looting here. Um, yeah, and then probably just die, right? Yeah, we probably just die because we can't find... Yeah. Yeah, the Sultering Suns might have been irrelevant there, but... Yeah, unfortunately we didn't hit the right... right stuff at the right time. Alright, what you got? Oh, they just have lair, right? They're the the weird we're just dead to the lair. Yep, yep, yep. Forgot about the lair. Alright, here and hopefully we can get like one one good win uh to close out the video here. Uh we're gonna keep this hand because we've got good hooks and looting effects. Our mana base is a little painful, but uh that's okay. Uh we'll do thrilling discovery and just discard the gear hooks. So Thrilling Discovery brings us right back up to 20, which is kind of nice. And we get some nice lands here. Alright, I think we're gonna... Uh, might keep the Blood for Bones. I think we're gonna just uh, cast this, discard Sweltering Suns and Reunion. Just kidding. I'm gonna discard this Thrilling Discovery, because I don't think we care about our life total that much. So they're just doing this and not able to do anything. Very, very interesting game plan our opponent has here. So let's reunion, discard this Gear Hulk and this Blood Crypt, probably. Do you have a counter spell, really? Okay. I was about to be like, really? You're going to counter this, of all things? Bone Crusher Giant, okay, sure. Fires, and then I assume cast in, uh, yeah. This is not great, because we're just kind of spinning our wheels here. <laughs> Whereas our opponent has, like, the namesake card in their deck right now. So... 
Yeah, a little awkward. But if they just like jam a bunch of stuff, then we just get to gear hook. And then after that, just start bringing out the combustibles and the uh, the noxiouses of the world. It's like best case scenario would be yeah, them just like do this and then we just play our our gear hook. Yeah, they draw two. They have another. They can cast another spell, right? They yeah. They've only cast one spell here. Sure. <laughs> second second fires is not as good. Um. I guess we can just now just like reanimate this noxious and kill this Karuga. My hope is that they don't kill this, and then we can Blood for Bones. But I'm not hopeful. I think we're, we're a little bit outclassed still. Yeah, so we're not going to block. Okay. This is okay. Uh, they choose not to, yeah, they choose not to block, or not to, uh, 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 that's okay, right? Because then, actually now Cataclysmic Gear Hulk does something. I will choose an artifact or a creature. Uh, so yeah, if they want to keep their fires around, they have to get rid of uh, the leyline binding, and then obviously like some of these are gonna go away. Cool. So like they got we got rid of their at least you know two of their like two of their four fires. So like they could have another one in hand, but like I don't know. It seems like a pretty good deal for me. And then uh, again, if this cataclysmic gear Hulk makes it through the turn, we get the blood for bones. Uh, and that'll be some good value here. Uh, again, not gonna risk uh, them having like another Bone Crusher Giant here. So, okay, they have one more spell here. Let's see what it is. There's a Bone Crusher Giant. Awesome. So that makes me feel really good about my decision. So we can go ahead and just. We're going to take the slow plan here of, uh, actually, do I even want to do this? This just, I'm going to get a gear hook anyways. So this lets me just, I get, I gain one less life, but. Yeah, it seems better. Uh, and then now I have another creature for blood for bones. Okay, they're cycling. Seems like they've run out of stuff. Just kind of interesting. Um, so if either of these make it to the next turn, I th or both of them do, I'm probably gonna sack the Gear Hulk since, oh, sorry, the the black one, since uh, this has a better body against stuff like Bone Crusher Giant and uh, uh, the uh, the Gear Hulk uh, having vigilance also. A nice little little boost there. Yeah, so we're gonna sack the the noxious gear hulk, get back the combustible gear hulk. Is that true? I'm just yeah yeah. We're gonna get back that and then put the combust. Uh, sorry, the the noxious in my hand. Okay. So actually, funny enough, there our opponent would have gone to four. All right, that was just pretty low for for them. Uh, so we're going to discard these lands. Uh, we already have uh, right, stuff to reanimate with our... I guess we really only have one thing to reanimate, so never mind. But we have a cathartic reunion if we really wanted to reanimate. But again, at this point, we have so much mana. We have so many cards that we can just uh, cast our Geert Hulks. 
So, Combustible Gear Hulk has First Strike, by the way. A lot of people forget that. But, yeah, I think our... Okay. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, I think our opponent didn't have a lot at the end there. Uh, cool. Uh, cool. Uh, Alright, here we go. Man's great. Again, Mana Confluence is pretty painful. Um... I think before this deck used Inspiring Vantages, maybe we should just go back to doing that, but I don't know. Um, so it's funny enough, actually, that uh, I'm going to discard both of these, and then next turn we can just cast Prize of Elgum, I guess, if we really wanted to. Or we can just do another Cathartic Reunion. That seems better. <laughs> oh, please don't Thought Seize me. Do they see it? Do they see it? Oh my god, wow. They didn't see it. But if I just like, yeah, I just like hard cast this prize to Malcolm. Like, oh, this is definitely the only thing that I'm doing. Here you go. Here's a here's a hard cast prize to Malcolm. Look at me. <laughs> no thoughtsies. No additional thoughtsies. Oh my god, easy game. They just like left me with this. They literally just left me with a, uh, with a very, a, uh, Why don't you just like murder them with this, please, please. Uh, good hits off of this that aren't just Gear Hulks. Cool. They're at six. They're at six life. <laughs> oh my god, that was that was twelve damage. I was going to mention like yeah, as long as I hit like a haunted out off off of this, like I'd be totally fine with. Anything else that goes on. So now our opponent is like really pressured. Oh my god. That's yeah, so actually a mana confluence, I think it has proven itself, right? Being able to um uh being able to um uh was it being being able to um uh draw into uh, sorry uh, to cast it on turn three is is pretty nice uh so they're forced to block this right otherwise they die and then <laughs> i think they're just done i think that was a little preemptive but um it does kind of put him in as what we call the abyss um but uh, yeah pretty cool game all right <laughs> There you go. That is uh, that is like my revamped version of uh, Gear Hulk Reanimator. Uh, if you want to make this video for a little bit, then uh, just try to figure out the, the right configuration. Did a little bit of more fiddling. So this is what we ended up with. I think the four Blood for Bones was a bit much. Um, you know, usually just finding a refurbish is enough if you don't get thought seized. And then uh, these effects are pretty good. And generally, just like streamlining the deck instead of just having all of these like uh, uh different elements again just uh really just having the, the prize amalgam uh hunted dead uh, early game and then again just uh, uh good value gear hulks uh, uh at the top end here and then the the sweltering suns to uh to keep uh yourself alive um yeah the mana confluence was actually a nice addition to cast uh, prize amalgams uh it came up a non-zero amount of the time uh the deck also does not have a lot of turn three plays like if you just on turn two cast one of your discard spells like you usually don't have to do anything uh, if you have your refurbished right you're usually just waiting on turn like or like between turns uh or, or sorry waiting on turn three uh in order to cast your refurbish so like unless you're casting swelstering suns you previously weren't doing anything and uh unless you were also doing haunted dead stuff uh but if you had prized amalgam uh plus like uh you know a hand like a hand with like gear hulks and stuff you could discard the gear hulks play your mana confluence cast your prize amalgam and have a three three on the battlefield which you know again isn't outstanding but at least does the job of blocking um yeah 
uh, Blood for Bones, uh, I mentioned, uh, works really like like worked really well when you actually can get it off. It just not often do you actually have uh, a creature already on board. Again, the pre premier play right again is really refurbish. Uh, it's one of the things I like about this deck is that uh, this card being just this random uncommon with this random uh, sentence of returning an artifact to the battlefield just makes this deck work. Uh, it wouldn't be a thing without this card. So. Uh, I find that uh, kind of kind of uh, funny that this uncommon just kind of ra this random uncommon that you know every other deck doesn't see any play, but here it's it's pretty cool. Um, as you see uh, again in the games, most of our opponents, some of them were smart enough to just give us the three cards. Other opponents tried to roll the dice uh, and got uh, got. Uh, burned for it, uh, so to speak, right? Dealing upwards of like 10 damage uh, on average, uh, as long as we hit spells, right? Obviously, if we just mill three lands, not great, but also that means we've milled three lands and we're no longer going to draw that uh, many lands, hopefully. Um, so yeah, I think deck works okay. Again, it, it, it obviously, as you see, falters to uh, any kind of aggressive deck. Uh, it doesn't do great when uh, being interacted with things like Thoughtseize and they seal your reanimation effect. Um, the mana base again is is pretty painful because we are a three color deck, really a four color deck if we're trying to cast our prize amalgams, and uh, we really want to be able to cast our spells on on turns two and turns four. So you know maybe it could add some more stuff like Haunted Ridge, but again that makes the the turn one and turn two a little bit weaker. Which again it, like really the, the the focal point is turn two, so that we can cast uh, one of our discard spells. Um, other things that aren't here that people might be commenting on, um, Thoughtseize being one of them. Thoughtseize is a little too, uh, painful again with all the stuff going on. We'd rather just, uh, uh, not worry about it. Again, don't really care about the hand disruption and, uh, you know, or also people can say, oh, you can, you can target yourself. You can discard your own Gear Hulk with Thoughtseize. Not really something this deck, I think, wants to be doing. Again, just kind of wants to, you know, survive early. Again, that's why we have the Sweltering Suns and the, uh, the Prized Amalgam Package. Uh, again, getting this off uh, early uh, is really going to help you stay alive. So uh, that's kind of the way the deck wants to play early, uh, as opposed to trying to play a disruptive game plan. I don't 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 think that really works out too well most of the time. Um, yeah, don't have a sideboard, but obviously some of the standard stuff like uh, interacting with your opponent's graveyard. Um, and obviously uh, any kind of disruption effect for like uh, uh, discard, uh, you know, maybe ley line, not ley line, uh, 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 duress, right? You know, or or something maybe something like that um, to help out. You know, there's there's definitely a bunch of things that you can do uh, for the sideboard, but didn't want to do that today. Um, cool. I think that's all I had to say. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed. I really had a fun time. I'm just I'm just here jamming, having a great time. I like this deck. I'll probably play this. You know on my own just because it's such a fun combustible gear hoax one of my favorite cards i got uh it got you know the card signed by by uh you know artists and and uh different pro, pro players that uh that i enjoy so uh it's a cool cool card uh and i hope you guys enjoyed it if you guys did one last reminder to like comment and subscribe it really helps me out and uh again just try to try to see what what uh hits the wall when it comes to uh um you know, content that people find enjoyable, content that uh, is unique. So uh, if you guys did enjoy this, did enjoy this kind of wacky deck tech, uh, let me know. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.